We are looking at the brand new hero, Kanu. He is a six foot five, medium, medium, three star, three star, accelerate type controlled. Then we have the striker or center forward as the two positions. In terms of statistics, doesn't look like the most impressive card straight away. Don't get me wrong, his finishing, his composure, even his agility and balance for somebody, this tool is fantastic, even his short pass. But of course, FIFA is, or FC24, is very pace orientated. But in terms of play styles, we've got incisive pass, which is absolutely amazing to have. Then we have flair, first touch, acrobatic, and traveller. We have gone for a hunter, obvious reasons being boost up that acceleration and sprint speed, as well as the finishing. If we jump onto footbin, you can see here's Price is around 58k, but we'll cover that a little bit later at the end of the review. But it does get him up to 91 sprint speed and 82 acceleration with 96 finishing and 87 shot power. I have gone for it because he stays in control. I played a few games already off camera. I have tried him as a marksman to get him on lengthy or controlled lengthy, and I don't think it's much of a difference just yet. They may patch it or nerf it a bit later on, and it might become a bit better, but we'll have to see. But with a marksman, it just boosts up that finishing. Of course, it doesn't matter too much about his pace because he's controlled lengthy, but I do think Hunter's the best chem style to go for. Let's just go jump into some gameplay and see how Kanu plays in-game. Stop right there with the introduction of kits, tokens, and now evolutions needed FC points or coins to complete them. There is no better time than to head over to iggm.com Get yourself some coins, very, very cheap, fast and reliable. Use discount code NANIC at the store and get 5% off. The link will be in the description. So as with most of our reviews so far, we are playing in our 4-4-2 formation. Kanu is up front and next to our Dan Juma, Founders Evolution. This guy's got a pretty good team by the looks of it. It's a shame he's done Ansu Fati as the founder there. But we are playing against two players by the looks of it in Rivals, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll see how Kanu does. We will also go and review him in another game where he's on his own as well. Now, I've already played a few games with Kanu, and I have to say he's very, very clinical when you get him into the situation in terms of front of goal. He is a little bit clunky at times, especially in heavy gameplays. We do get him through already. Keepers come out as a heavy touch and a poor shot from me. But you can see that's going to be the role he's playing. Last man breaking through. That is definitely his best position. He can definitely do the link-up stuff, but I do feel that his ability to pass is a little bit lacking at times. Not complete inconsistent, but at times. But let's just see how we get on with Kanu in this game. One opportunity already. See if we can get some more. On the ball, little one-two. Kevin De Bruyne repays the favour. Lovely touch. Kanu and a goalkeeper movement there. Good save from the keeper. Kanu on the ball, bit of skill. Lovely step over. Good pass as well. Can we repay the favour of the through ball down the line? It's gone to the wrong person. That's a shame. Kanu using that strength. Lovely hold-up play. Can we turn the favour? We do get back to him. Nowhere to go. Use that dribble for a minute. Good tackle, unfortunately. That's where he does struggle there with those stand-up plays because he's a little bit clunky. Got that Dan Juma clean through. One-on-one. -on -one. Keepers come out. So we're going to play it across. Kanu. There is the goal there. We've capitalized on the same mistake that they made at the start. Kanu was always going to finish that. We are playing a very, very difficult game. Our opponent is playing five at the back and two of them as well. We're doing very, very well. Kanu on the ball. Lovely layoff. Now we've got him through the bottom man. Can we find him? Of course we can. Oh, I tried to do a bit of skill to get past him there. It's a shame. Good tackle from our opponent, I have to admit. We're right, working him behind. Anzu Fatty driving. Got Kanu in between. Of course we find him. Thank you very much. And there's two goals there. We are playing him in a deeper role. So we have a faster striker next to him. So Kanu can work his way up. He's more of a target man than being up front on his own. And you can see there we are capitalizing on our opponent's mistakes with their ability to defend. And that's something I like about Kanu is even though he is a bit slower, if you use him in his strengths in terms of sitting back a bit more, you can get the space to shoot from outside the box or any other opportunities that arise. He can play up front on his own if you need him to, but he's better off as a target man, that is for sure. We've got Kanu here. Lovely ball. Look at that for a pass. Now we've got Ansu Fati clean through. And a great save off the keeper's head there. Lovely goal. Lovely team goal. Using Kanu as a dummy run there. Gives us a 3-0 lead. Two players in against here, and they still can't handle what Kanu can do for us. Today's halftime. So far, so good from Kanu. You can see how we're using him in more of a second man role. We will go jump into another game after this half is completed so you can see what he's like against one opponent. But you can see how devastating he is on the finish. Yes, he's a little bit clunky at times, but his link-up play is good. His strength is fantastic. If you press L2 or the left trigger on your controller, he can definitely hold back the defenders to get yourself some extra space for overlapping runners. So it's really, really good. Let's see if we can carry on in the second half. Second half underway then. Let's see if we can carry on doing what we did in the first half. Lovely ball. Got Kanye back post. Can we find him? 
Oh, he's gone for the header and nearly in. Bit of a hard angle there. I want to test out his headering a little bit. Tried that first time cross. Didn't quite work out, unfortunately. Carney with the pick up with the loose ball. Saka can't quite find him. We do get the overlap of Akimi though. Carney with the touch. Bit of work to do. Step over past the slide tackle. Ah, oh, tried to dribble around the goalkeeper there. It had an easy pass on, but didn't take it, unfortunately. Interception. Carney wants it. Can we find him with the ball over the top? We can. We get the volley off. Great header instead. Keeper comes out. No time to volley it. Get that header we've been asking for. That is going to be a hat trick for him. It looks like a rage quit as well. Let's go jump into a second game. So into our second game then, we're going to do the exact same thing we did with Carnu in that first game, but we are going to be against one opponent this time. Hoping for exactly what he did in the first game. You can see how clinical he is. Once you get used to his body type, the Hunter Kempstar really comes into its own in terms of going into top speed, and that's sometimes just what you need. Wow, Carnu on the ball. Little layoff, nowhere to go. We're going to make for him to wait for that run. Got him through here. It's a hard pass. Couldn't quite find him, unfortunately. Good run from him, though. We do need that to sort of break down this player. We've got a very good opponent on our hand here. We've got such a situation. Carney went behind. Going for that power shot. And that's why you put Hunter on him. May not be the quickest, but having that boosted shot power and finishing, he's going to rifle those chances into the goal. And that is a fantastic goal from Carney there to get us the lead. Guys doing a kickoff glitch. Can't believe my eyes. Oh, we go. Counter attack. Carney making that run. Can we find him with the pass? There's a lovely ball. Carney using that pace. Keepers come out. Going to go for the chip. Is it going to drop in? It is. And that's what I'm saying as well. Even with the Hunter, once he gets into full speed, there's no catching him. He breaks through the lines there and gets away. And a lovely chip. That's twice we hit him on the same counter there. Carnu both times getting the goal from really far out. One with a lob and one with a shot across goal. We'll take that every single day. Got two runners. Carnu and Dan Juma. Can we find either of them? We can. There's Dan Juma. Lovely ball. Wait for Carney to get on side. It's an easy pass. And there's his hat trick. Playing up front. You can just see how dangerous he is when he's on that last man or a target man. He's not going to miss these shots. He is an absolute goal magnet. He will get those goals for you. 3-0 up in this game. Hat trick in the last game. Hat trick in this game. You can't ask for much more for such a cheap hero striker in this game. Nice and early. Got Dan Juma through. Lovely work. Find Carnu again. Can he get on the end of it? Not this time, unfortunately. In a bit better pass, we might have had a chance there. Lovely ball from Kevin De Bruyne. Dan Juma with another goal. And looks like we're getting a rage quit. I think we've seen enough. You can see exactly what Carnu can and can't do with the gameplay. We played against two opponents and one opponent. Both of them in rivals. Got ourselves a hat trick in both games. Let's go jump onto Footbin now. So you can see he's around 63,000 coins. I think I paid around 40k for him, but I am playing it on the pre-order, so before it's out on standard edition. So the prices may vary by the time you're watching this, depending on that's in a week, two weeks, or even a month's time. So we won't talk about price too much. Like I said, we went for the Hunter once Jarzina gets out of the way. And the Hunter, I think, is the best chem style for now until we get our first, first patch comes out. Or they kind of go into a bit more of in-depth what you want to do. Now, I do think Carnu is definitely better with a pairing. So having someone who's slightly smaller and faster next to him for the link-up play. Kind of what you saw in today's review. His ability to finish is up there with some of the best cards right now. Especially with the Hunter giving a 96 finishing. His dribbling is a little bit lacking, though, I have to say. So you've got to be careful with that. Once you get used to the dribbling mechanics, you will obviously help you out. But I will say having 74 balance at being six foot five or 196 centimeters is the reason why he feels like that. That isn't going to change, unfortunately, unless they patch it where they make bigger players better at dribbling. So it's just something to be careful of. Doesn't mean he can't play on his own. Of course he can, but you are better off in the two. If you have any other questions about this card or don't understand anything, please comment down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one.